Hey guys, so I made this video to share my review of Apex Trader Funding. I learned about uh, trading fun trader funding firms about three weeks ago. I've been trading for 12 years now. Uh, I've traded uh, stocks, options, and some futures, um, but I've mostly traded options. Um, so I have some experience trading futures, uh, maybe two years. So I thought it was really interesting and it's a great opportunity for traders to test out their strategies without risking their own capital, um, which what I really liked about the whole model of, of the business where you take a test to prove that you know what you're doing and then they put you in an account that would be called either a performance account or an elite account. Uh, basically, once you pass the test, they give you an account that's like a funded account. So I, I did a lot of research into companies that offered this service and Apex was one name that kept on coming up. Um, they're known for their aggressive discounts, and they give you up to uh, 25k, where you can earn 100% off your first 25k in withdrawals, which is double, you know, their competitors. Um, and they came recommended from a lot of the traders on YouTube and um, you know a lot of the futures influencers, uh, so to speak. So the first step I had to do was picking a plan that was right for me. And initially, I had looked at um, static plans because the static plans, um, it looked pretty simple. It was one low cost, 137 a month compared to, you know, say 300K or even like a 75K. It's still cheaper than the other alternatives. So um, I ended up not going with a static account because I realized the contract size was just two, my, two minis. Um, versus a 25k account where it, that would allow you to have four minis and the profit goal is actually lower on a 25k account than it was for the static account as well as um, the drawdown you were allowed on a 25k account was one to one so the profit goal is 1500 and the drawdown is 1500 so I just thought the better value here for me was um, 25k some people say that if you have a static account, um, you're better off because you can start withdrawing money earlier. Um, but I don't think that's true with um, Apex after looking at their uh, payout schedule screen. Um, if you notice, it says here um, with this 100K static account, you can't withdraw until your account is at $102,600, meaning once you get into a funded account, you have to earn $2,600 to be able to withdraw. Now, you can withdraw down to $101,000 or $100,100. But um, to me, there was, wasn't really any significant advantage to um, doing it that way. So I started off with the 25K account and I had it. Uh, I hit my profit target in about three days, and for the remainder of days, I just took uh, lower risk trades um, to get into a performance account. Um, my performance account, I grew it um, to up to $27,000, and then I had some drawdowns as well. Um, but what really um, was interesting to me was I had, after I had my 25K account and I passed the evaluation, I tried to do a 75k account to see, um, you know, if there's any difference psychologically in having a larger account size. And for me, I think there was. And also, I was trying to trade two accounts at the same time, which uh, I do not recommend if you're new to this. So, you know, that was a learning experience for me. But in my performance account, I had an issue where um, I had a stop buy limit order, and the market had a big move upward, and my screen was saying I was I was profitable. I tried to close the trade out and it said it was admin only, which typically means your account has blown up. So I went to Rhythmic uh, Trader to view my account balance to see at what point was my trade negative to have been below the auto liquidate threshold. And in fact, in Rhythmic, my account value was actually higher and none of my positions liquidated, uh, which didn't make sense to me because um, the rule is, you know, in Rhythmic, they say auto liquidate value. So if your account goes below that value, typically your account 
liquidates. They close all your positions and you cannot open any new ones. Um, what I saw was the position I had opened that was profitable, it stayed open and it actually ended up ending the day up $4,900. Um, that didn't make sense to me. I thought maybe it was a glitch. Um, if my account did go below the auto liquidate threshold, I would think that it would auto liquidate. So I just felt that if there was a glitch, you know, maybe I'll reach out to Apex and they would be able to help me, um, you know, look into it. So they did. I looked, I emailed Apex and I got a response within a day. And I'm going to share the screenshots with you guys of what they sh shared with me. So the first screenshot here is um, was emailed to me from Apex, and I could pull this up myself in Rhythmic, but it was accurate. It said at right after the position filled, it was part of an auto liquidation, and the account balance was twenty four thousand six hundred seventy four dollars. Now, at no point in time did I see my account balance go to twenty four thousand six hundred and seventy four dollars. So. I looked into Rhythmic myself to see if did they close the position. It did not close. So I tried to manually close it um, from Rhythmic, also from logging into my Apex account, and I was not able to close the position out. So I thought, okay, maybe um, you know it, it's some kind of error on the computer's end, or maybe um, the volatility caused it. So I'm not sure. So. I ended up looking at their policies and watched videos on their site. Um, like this, they had this page where it, it describes what happens when your account says admin only. And typically it means one of two things, which is A, you fall below the um, auto liquidate balance and then they close your position out, or you held a position past 4.59 uh, p.m. Eastern time. Um, after watching the video, I still felt that something wasn't right because my positions did not close out. You know, if I was to ask Apex, why did my account auto liquidate? The answer would have been, well, you went below the auto liquidate threshold. Well, if I asked, okay, why didn't my account auto liquidate? The answer should be because it did not go below the auto liquidate threshold. So. What happened basically is, um, I'll pull my screen up again with the screenshot they shared. You'll see here, um, it, it says that my account fell below the auto liquidation threshold, but at no point did it auto liquidate, which cast doubt onto, well, did it really go below that? Um, because if it did, it would have auto liquidated. And I know that to be true because on my 75K account, I pulled up how the auto liquidation happened with that account and it shows you. The second that your account's part of an auto liquidation, they fill positions, all the positions you have open, and they make them close. So if I was to log into my Rhythmic account right now um, and show you guys my account balance, my account balance is going to say I still have uh, $29,000 and $761 in the account. So like even on the training videos from Apex, they would tell you, you know, if your account blew up, you can log into Rhythmic and it'll show you your auto liquidate threshold value and it should show you your account value. So if you look at my 75K account, the auto liquidate threshold value was $73,416.05. So my balance when they liquidated it was $73,355.13. So this number is clearly lower than this number. Um, what was weird to me was when it told me I was in auto uh, liquidate mode, my balance was $27,000. And in fact, because the position was unable to be closed by me manually, it continued to increase throughout the day. So at no point on my screen did I see this number go below this number. And I don't believe the computer like really had this number going below this number because if it says this the auto liquidate threshold value, 
why didn't it auto liquidate? You know, I thought that after asking them, they might be able to see, okay, well, something happened, right? Either the computer, you know, did not ought, did not liquidate the positions, which is weird because it should have, or the computer falsely said it was under the threshold value and correctly did not auto liquidate the position. Um, the response I got from Apex uh, was not very helpful. Uh, they just kept on repeating the uh, the account has liquidated. The account has liquidated. Uh, we cannot change anything. We will not do anything. And, you know, sorry. So the message I would have to anybody, uh, any new traders is on days when there's news or, uh, you know, big events, I'd tell you to probably make sure you have no orders open um, and just wait, wait it out. Because if the volatility can have your account you know be disqualified that quick um it's just not worth it um but also i'm kind of disappointed in apex for the way they handled the situation where clearly something went wrong with the computer system and i felt like it was against me obviously um so now my account balance has uh supposedly twenty nine thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars in there and the account is closed because of that and you know um, it doesn't make sense though um, and I don't, I don't think they care to really look into it but it, it is a risk that you're taking um, by trading with one of these companies um, I still would recommend them um, because they uh, I think they're trying uh, they're trying to do th do things the right way um, but just it, when things do go wrong, a lot of times it just feels like you're going to be on your own and whatever the computer says is what, they, what the computer says, even if the computer clearly is not uh, doing things properly. Um, so that's been my experience with Apex. I'm probably going to take a break from working with them, mainly because um, I have Macs. I have Mac devices and I actually bought a PC just to trade on NinjaTrader, but other firms um, that are offering similar uh, plans offer you the option between Ninja Trader and Tradovate. And to me, that's a big enough thing to where, um, you know, given a second time, I, I'm just going to go ahead with a company that would have Tradovate because I like trading on their platform um, because it's just simpler in certain ways. Um, but I wouldn't, out of 10, if I had to rate a Apex, I'll give them like a seven. Uh, seven because they do offer a lot of sales and uh discounts um also they they do not um have daily drawdowns the, the drawdown on each uh plan it's it's just one uh drawdown it is a trailing drawdown and it goes off of your intraday um account value but i still think for the price and the value it's pretty decent um it's just not good for if you're a mac user and um it also probably is not going to be great from a customer service standpoint if something goes wrong like what happened to me um and then i would also say if you're looking at um account sizes to look at not only the like the account value right 25k versus 100k you know but look at things like the contract sizes the profit goal um the drawdown as a percentage of the profit goal and just figure out what makes sense for you. Um, on all these accounts, once you pass, you will get um, an email from Apex asking you if you want to um, get a performance account where you then have to pay a fee for performance uh, for data. So the fee uh, would be, um, I think $85 a month if you do the month to month, or you can also do, which is new, a one-time payment the one-time fee options also uh, depend on your account size. So for um, smaller accounts, it's going to be like 130, 140. Um, but for larger accounts, like you know, 100k, 250k, 300k, it's 220, 300, 340. And this is also a large reason why I don't necessarily recommend the static account with Apex because um, the because the account says it's 100k, even though you're only trading two contracts. You're paying a greater fee for the one-time uh, 
payment and also if you look at the payout um, the payout screen you still have to basically earn an additional $2,600 on your performance account in order to do a withdrawal versus on a 25k account I think you'd have to do uh, 26,600 which is $1,600 above the um, initial account balance so I just don't see the any real benefit to their static account um, but overall like it, they're good they work um, if you don't mind ninja trader or using windows device um, i have asked apex if they had any plans in the future to work with trade Ovate, and they said no they said uh, most the trading world runs on windows so it just sounds like they're probably not going to be open to uh, having trade Ovate, but um, Ninja Trader did acquire Trader Rate last year, so maybe Ninja Trader will do something where you can use both platforms. But um, Apex has not seen uh, very in much interested in the idea of offering that. Um, but that's my review. Um, I would say if you're starting out, start small, um, test your strategy, and um, try to get the plans when they're on sale. They do offer sales throughout the year, and they offer discount codes that you can use. Um, and the customer service, they will get back to you in usually less than a business day, which is pretty good. Um, it's just when you have issues like I had where, you know, something went wrong and it doesn't, nobody has an answer for it. If it's against you, it's probably going to stand. And um, so that wasn't really, you know, I'm not happy about that, but I still blame myself for it. You know, I probably shouldn't have been trading during news, um, even if it's your own strategy that you always use maybe you just hold off for a couple of minutes um, because of the volatility. So that's how that's what I would recommend to new traders looking to get into a funding program. I'm gonna do reviews on other funding programs as I uh, do them. I was hoping to complete a payout with Apex, but um, I probably won't have another Apex account until either to have another sale or promotion or um, you know after I try another company and see how other companies are compared to Apex. Apex was the first one I, I passed their valuation. It was actually the, fat, the first account I made and the first one I passed. So, you know, um, it is it is doable. You can definitely pass. And even with the rules, I think they're pretty straightforward. So um, try it out for yourself and, you know, develop your own opinion. Um, but um, yeah, I give them a solid seven out of 10.